you had nothing interesting to do this weekend, Joe will enlighten us with what you were up to. Yes, Peter, I like to say, busy over weekends. This weekend, I went and watched the Ed Sheeran show. He was here in South Africa, in Johannesburg, at uh, FMB Stadium. What a great show it was. Um, absolutely talented guy. He just shouldn't rap. I didn't like his rap songs. But he had the Protea jersey on. Yeah, the Protea jersey, and yeah, he made up for it, probably. <laughs> South African, what a great show, but the one negative of the evening, as always with any live show, is the traffic. Traffic getting there and traffic getting back. So we left um, from Pretoria to Joburg and we put into the GPS, we want to go to the FMB Stadium. And then about, about 10 kilometers away we hit traffic and we stand still. And what do we do when we, what do we all normally do when we hit traffic? We get quite creative on the other routes we want to take. So then we veered off the route the GPS told us to go to, and we tried to be more clever than the GPS. And, and you were not the only one. We were not the only one. When we veered off, we see there's a lot of people trying this as well. And the traffic is actually a lot worse on those roads because it's smaller roads. And that just reminded me of what we do in investing as well. Um, we have a plan, an investment plan. Once it doesn't really go, once it's uh, a bit quiet on that road, doesn't really get the growth we want to, we try something else. And uh, it's a perfect example is I ask, I heard a financial advisor actually two years ago, I asked him, how do you select the funds where your um, investors should invest in? And he said, it's, it's quite simple. You just look at the previous year, you take the top 10 funds and you choose one of them. I mean, it's simple. They perform the best and then choose one of them. And I actually couldn't believe it because that's the worst advice you can give any investor. Because So just to put it in another way, to explain another way, when you get stuck in traffic on the highway and there's four lanes, four different lanes, what do we normally do? We see which lane is moving faster, mm -hmm. so that lane moves its course, then we want to get into that lane. And then all of a sudden it stands still. We've all done that. Then you see, all right, now it's actually then lane at the end that's moving faster so we wait till it moves and then we get into that lane and so what that means is we get into the back of every lane and we're trying to follow and we never will get in front that way if we just stayed in the lane at the beginning we would have been there a lot quicker than changing lanes it's almost like a hit mentality being able to find this because everyone's now moving to that lane now it's slower, then everyone moves to the next lane that performed well last year. A perfect example is Bitcoin. Everyone goes to the Bitcoin, the prices go up, but there's not no real reason why it went up. We just, and then everyone moves again. 100%. That's invest, the biggest investor mistake is for exactly that. We look at what other people do and we don't want to lose out. There's a saying that we ro rather be wrong together than being right alone. <laughs> and that just sums up the investor behavior. And that just reminded me of when you sit in traffic the next time, be reminded of that. Stick to your lane, stick to your course, and the same with investing as well. Thank you, Joe. And like Warren Buffett also said, be fearful when others are greedy and greedy when others are fearful. Perfect. Thanks. Thanks.